Again, one of the goals of this lab is to introduce modular testing. So, once the A to D converter works, your software for that works, we're going to go on and write a function called convert, which will take the A to C data and convert it into a distance, which has units of uh, 0.001 centimeters. Okay? And so, once you've written this function, you're going to test it. So, uh, let's show you how I would test it. Well, I've written a function. You have to write your own. And so I'm going to test it in the simulator. This time I'm going to use a little more complicated of a program. We see I'm going to use one here that initializes the A to D converter, initializes the display. This display is optional, uh, but it is simulated. Uh, I'm going to convert the value, and then um, I'm going to convert that ADC into a distance and I will display that on the, on the Nokia. All right, so we can open up and look at the Nokia here. There's a Nokia. Uh, last time we watched the ADC data, and this time I want to look at the, um, I want to look at the distance parameter here. Distance, distance, enter. Um, as I convert it into the display, it actually also creates a string, which I can look at. Okay, so this data, I'm going to look in decimal. Okay, so now I'm going to again run the program here. And now this time I want to do a couple of conversions. First I see from before that the voltage here is converted into a number there. Okay, that's the first conversion. The second conversion is my function will convert the number into a distance. And then lastly, I can see that that distance is converted into a string, uh, and that string is displayed on the display. And so if this were working properly, we would have the actual distance here, 0 0.500 centimeters, displayed as a 500 in the variable and a 0 0.500 on the display. So let's move it around and see if it works. Uh, again, we have 1.4440 centimeters, which is converted to this A to C value, converted to this distance, and displayed. And so I got pretty close. All right, so we don't have interrupts yet, so now we got to add interrupts.